Hey everybody and welcome back to another video review. Today we are taking a look at the Hot Toys Spider-Man Homecoming Deluxe Set Spider-Man Tech Suit. Kicking things into gear and starting off with the accessories, as you can see, we have a wealth of really, really awesome stuff that comes here with the Deluxe Edition figure. Starting in the bottom left, going on up and around, we have Peter's signature yellow sports jacket. We have the Midtown, yeah, there we go, Midtown School of Science and Technology crest right there. This is able to be fully equipped on the figure. And then of course, next to that, we do have his blue zip up hoodie. So these are meant to sort of go uh, hand in hand or have the jacket over the hoodie. See what that looks like a little bit more later. We have some alternative hands and we have his underarm web wing type things. Hands have some really good detail on them. As you can see, we have really, really nice texture and paint application all throughout. And then of course we have the little web shooter well, not the shooter, but I guess the trigger for the web shooter. Really, really good stuff. More on that later. We get two actual web shooters. As you can see, nothing too special about them, but a nice clean paint app on them. We get a backpack. I don't know if there's anything in here. I haven't looked. Yeah, it looks like it's just cotton and stuff in there. I'm not going to unzip it just to see all that. Adjustable straps. It's like an mi actual miniature backpack, fully working zippers and straps. And the usual assortment of webs. This isn't really anything too different that's come with the Spider-Man figure. And then of course a little open-ended kind of net web attachment for the end of one of the straight pieces. So it can look like it's actually going out there. A Science Today textbook, second edition. And what's really neat about this is the text in here is actually legible. Um, I mean, it looks like it's actually just repeating every couple of pages. I uh, just noticed that now. When I was looking through it earlier, though, I was pretty surprised that it's, it's just really small font printed into these actual pages. Um, kind of cool. Cool little okay accessory there i'm so excited i can't even contain it uh this is the exclusive vulture helmet i don't believe this visor goes up or anything like that in the right light you can see these green menacing eyes in there no uh ability to put in any batteries for any sort of light up functionality and that's fine because i i really wouldn't know what i'm doing with that anyway some headphones they don't expand or really stretch. Uh, you probably want to be careful with them so you don't stress the plastic. We have the extra Spider-Man mask. The eyes do stay on this. These are not interchangeable, and this is not something that can be equipped on uh, the actual figure. This is just for show or for him to hold. Kind of looks like the Gooby Spider-Man or the Spooderman meme if you look at it. I don't know. To me, it does. But uh, just like the Spider-Man Homecoming extra mask, I'm not sure if you remember from my review there, but I have also found that this same mask has just as much, if not more, utility in real-world use. Um, for example... What the hell? What the hell?
Hey Siri, play music. Okay, let's press play. All right, so yeah, uh, really good stuff, guys. I, I'm really happy with this accessory. As you can see, it, uh, it's just got a lot, of, uh, a lot of functionality out of it. We do have the assortment of eyes over here. What I was really happy about is that it comes with these instant kill mode eyes. Really, really cool. So we have those. We have very squinty eyes, less opened eyes, <laughs> more opened eyes, and then, of course, the... Uh, two that are on the figure currently. So I, I like that you have such uh, an assortment of those because that was such a big thing with the Homecoming movie is that this was the first time that we've had a Spider-Man character in a movie. Uh, well, aside from Civil War, but same character. Uh, so this adaptation of Spider-Man that has those adjustable eyes, it just gives it that much more personality and character, I think, uh, as he's you know, fighting or saying something to someone else. Um, it just gives the suit so much more expression. And then, of course, we have this really, really, really wonderful, excellently sculpted, beautifully painted Tom Holland head sculpt. Now, we got a really good head sculpt with the homemade suit version. So this really isn't anything... Um, I guess, uh, super impressive in a sense that, or, or groundbreaking, that we haven't seen it before, as I literally have another toy over on the shelf behind me uh, with the same head sculpt equipped. So I do like that it came with it. I think that's good. They, they, they should always include an extra head sculpt, especially for these prices, if they have it. Um, I think people would feel rather dicked over if you know they only got the Spider-Man head with this. So it's nice that they also included it here. Of course, we do have the adjustable stand. That's really nothing new, but it does have a really nice, fancy um, little stylized base as well as nameplate. As you can see, Spider-Man Peter Parker. And then we get these, um, these were on the box. It's like these two like spider symbol sticker things. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. I, I looked for the, through the instructions and I couldn't find out what to do with them, but um, I, I don't think they get equipped on the base or anything like that because the, the size doesn't really match up to it. But uh, whatever, they're here. I, I don't know if they are stickers. It feels like they're on some sort of paper that would separate. I don't want to try, but I mean, even just to have the character stand on and if you don't want to use the base is kind of cool. And I really dig this dark mode version. It just, it has all these cool techy lines in it, even this one. It's a really fun stuff. Overall, I think this is a really good set of accessories to include with the figure. Um, you know, of course you have enough hands for a Spider-Man figure. Really happy that they include the little web wings. Not sure how much functionality I'll actually get out of the sport jacket and hoodie, uh, to be honest, since I'm going to want the actual Spider-Man suit showing. But it is really cool to have that kind of memorabilia included from the movie since it was so iconic. Uh, but enough about the accessories, we'll go ahead, we'll get a little bit deeper into the figure now, and then we'll go ahead and equip some of these accessories to see how they look with the figure itself. And now taking a closer look at the actual figure itself, here we have Spider-Man standing on his own. I just wanted to give you a general sense about how great this figure looks and how vibrant the colors here on the suit really are. Um, I think this is just quite a remarkable piece to look at on its own, even without any sort of the accessories or poses equipped with him. I think they did a really, really good job. Uh, there was a very clear and close attention to detail on the suit throughout. I can't see anything that Hot Toys would have missed on this. I looked at the figure, I looked at a lot of the promo images, I looked at a lot of the uh, actual screen grabs of the film, and I think they did a phenomenal job here on scaling down 
in getting the Spider-Man suit just right here for the figure. Uh, I, I, I could not be happier with it. Getting a much more detailed look at the suit, like I said, as you can see, Hot Toys has just done a phenomenal job on the detailing here. Um, now this is more of a cloth fabric. This isn't something that's necessarily rubberized, but they do have these added little bumps and bits here into the fabric that give it that more kind of puffed out effect or rubberized effect. Uh, of the suit and I think that just goes such a long way that texture is really noticeable in hand I hope it's coming across here on camera One gripe I do have here is on the upper head seam I wish that the the stitching here would have been more on par with the actual webbing as to cover it up when you get it a little bit more closely you you can notice it that it almost makes the um, this this top middle webbing look off center, but really it's the stitching that is off to the left. Um, or maybe it's a combination of both, but to me, I, I'm kind of anal about having that web directly in the center of the head. So I, uh, I do think that's a missed opportunity on Hot Toys part. I'm not sure if there was a logistical reason behind that, but I would have to dock it just a, a little bit for that. Uh, making up for that though in the head, the eyes, they are magnetic, so these pop out so you can interchange it with some of the other eye accessories that I just showed off, but they remain flush and you don't see any sort of gaps or spaces or even any sort of like nail section for you to put the uh, your nail in to get the eye out. They are completely flush with the head. They don't pop out or anything like that. They are magnets, but uh, I think they look really, really good. Going around again, as you can see, stitching here, very well concealed, very, very nicely done, not noticeable, not super noticeable. Um, but then again, this back stitching on the head, same thing, that center web and that stitching, just if it was to be aligned, I think would just look a little bit better, but uh, you can't have it all. And then as you can see, so the red has those puffed kind of raised bits and then these blue bits uh, do have a, a different texture as well. Not too bad. We have the black rubberized pieces going along the back and onto the arms there. And of course, have this nice little rubberized raised spider on the chest there. We have the, uh, the little tech lines throughout the blue parts of the suit there. And now the web shooters that come equipped on the figure out of the box have these closed off holes. So these are not the web shooters you will use to equip any sort of web accessories. These are just ones for pure show and tell. Got the little utility belt pieces there. Another thing I wanna point out here is on the shoes. So from the top, it looks a little goofy uh, with this kind of wrapped around like black, these rubber soles, uh, it's, you know, it's not just the the red, it's, it's this kind of like extra, extra sole that, that's put onto the figure. So as goofy as it looks, I will say that it helps him remain stable uh, really, really, really easily. So you can get a lot of dynamic poses out of him without having to equip him on his chip clip base and he's going to stand up just fine. So I'll take, uh, you know, it doesn't look quite as flush as I'd like it to, uh, just with those rubber bits coming up the side, it, it looks a little gaudy, but um, really not too terrible. And uh, again, the trade-off for getting great posability is fine by me. Overall, I think they've done a bang up job on the detailing and uh, the costume design for this figure. I am absolutely flabbergasted and could not be happier. Of course, this would not be a great Spider-Man figure if there wasn't remarkable articulation to go in hand with that. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate the articulation on the figure, starting from the top going down. The head is able to go around 360 degrees, can go up, it can go down, go side to side really, really well. There is no neck articulation as that is going to be all part of the fabricated suit here. Now, here's what I really like about the shoulders is they are on a ratchet joint. This is the first Spider-Man figure to implement this kind of functionality. So just give it a listen here. 
So what this does is this allows, and as you can see, this is a full 90 degree pose with the arms or the shoulders. Um, what this does is it gives the strength to the shoulder bits so you can get those really dynamic spider poses out of it. Now I think Hot Toys did this as a precautionary mechanism after several years ago with the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man figure having those shoulder issues, or maybe this is just a natural progression of them finding better ways to make these toys. And Honestly, I'm happy they're doing that since the prices of them are increasing quite a lot. So really, really nice, really uh, happy that they did that there. Of course, the arms can go, can go up pretty high. The suit does start to uh, bunch up a little bit there, and I'm always scared that I'm going to rip or stretch out the suit, so I try not to stress it too much, but for the sake of showing you his articulation, as you can see, it's really, really well done, and that's just at the shoulder so far. Now the elbow, as you can see, it uh, goes up pretty good, but it stops up about there, which is fine because I don't know why you would really need it that much higher up. We do have a swivel at the top of the arm. Again, with the suit, that's going to start to have some kind of weird, uh, weird hindrances, but it is there if you need it. That's weird, I didn't mean to do all that. Wrist, 360 degrees. We have an ab crunch here. Legs also on a ratchet. I'm not sure. It's not as uh, substantial of a sound as the arms. Not a lot of back, but his butt's gonna get in the way, but more than most figures, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. You can swivel at the upper part of the leg. You can go out and in, knees, bend at two points. Feet are really well done. So the boot is all one piece, and that's fine because I'd rather have this flush look than a boot and then a shoe piece, and it just looks so obvious, and then you see like this air gap, and you see the, the little uh, ball joint there. Um, but the feet are super poseable. No, uh, no hindrances. It's a very flexible fabric here. I don't think that it's, it's going to stretch out or ruin if, if you move the, the foot all around and pivot it. Really, really happy. Great posability. Um, I could not recommend anything to improve in terms of it. It gets a perfect 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, whatever with me. So now what I'd like to do is go ahead and show how to equip some of the different accessories that come with the figure. Um, we'll start with the eyes here. I found the easiest way is just to use a nail and you wanna go up in the upper most corner of the eye because the magnet is down here towards the center, so around the nose area. So if you go up here and you can get a nail in here, you wanna be careful. And as the instructions say, don't use too much force. Um, it's, it's not that it's tabbed in there super hard. There are little grooves here and a little slot there, but really it's predicated on the magnet mechanism. So it's nothing that you have to gouge out or anything crazy. And then you'll just wanna go ahead and do the same on the other side. So get your nail in there, boom. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Why don't we get a look of him with those uh, instant kill eyes? I, I'm really dying to see what that looks like. I've yet to actually put these in. So this will be a, a first for everybody here. Really, really menacing, really cool, good stuff. But I, I like my Spider-Man with big white eyes. Um, to me, that's just kind of a classic look, so I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, the largest eyes here onto the figure. Sports jacket and hoodie on the figure. Uh, you can put the hoodie over his head if you want. Uh, uh, eight mile! Jokes and jokes. I think I've done that joke way too many times when it comes to these toys. Anytime a toy has a hood, I think I do the eight mile bit. All right, so not too bad. Here we have high school Spider-Man, Peter Parker, ready to hit the books, ready to study. He is in the zone, got his music playing. He's got his hoodie, he's got his sport jacket, he's got his drawstring sticking straight out. That's weird. I don't think I'll be posing him with this stuff on, but Kind of neat that it's there, and I think it looks really, really good. And now one thing I'm also noticing on my figure here as I'm about to equip these is, as you can see, so this one is ready to go. We have the hole there where the web piece will fit in. However, I have this other piece where uh, we run into a bit of a quality control issue, and that's that there's some plastic or some paint covering up that hole. Uh, as you can see, this hole here is just much larger. Uh, nothing is going to get through here, so I'm going to have to work on that. 
So nothing too crazy, you just go ahead and slide on the web shooter to the applicable wrist. Beautiful. So here we have a dynamic pose. We go ahead and grab one of our little webs out of our web rack and we'll just equip it. And again, this is just by placing the peg in the hole there. As you can see, looks really, really cool. Not bad. Equipping the web wings onto Spider-Man is actually quite simple. All you have to do is go ahead and get the shoulders raised up a couple of clicks and then ready your webs. Now what I've learned is, so as you can see, there's more of an indent here and this faces more of an outward protrusion for the web. I thought that maybe the, um, the design was to come forward, but according to the instructions, you actually want this inverted piece to be facing you. You can go ahead and you can just get a good idea of where the magnet attaches to the body since that's where the majority of the magnets are. And once it's there, just hold it with your thumb, lower the arm down, and that'll go ahead and get the magnet holding on there. You may just have to reposition the side a little bit to straighten things out um, if it's not quite uh, lining up perfectly. And then of course, you'll just do that on the other side. Just match it up. Get it there, start to lower this, and you just gotta push it back a little. So not too bad, it's not perfect, it's not gonna snap in to anything since it is magnets, but it does give it a nice little effect. It looks really cool from the back. Um, with the lack of posability that this causes, I probably won't be equipping these accessories all the time, but I do like that now you kind of have that classical webbed look. You could even recreate the cover of Amazing Fantasy 15 if you wanted, where he's you know kind of swinging out, holding someone, and he's got the little webs sitting there. Uh, it's just a very iconic look, and I'm kind of glad that they included it with this figure. All right, and here we have just a quick little comparison shot. We have the homemade suit Spidey and the tech suit Spidey side by side with the Tom Holland head sculpts. They're pretty much the same thing, just with some different paint applications. Um, as you can see, the homemade suit has some battle damage. The eyes are looking a little bit more straightforward, whereas the tech suit Spidey, his eyes are painted to look off to, uh, to his left a little bit more. But nonetheless, they look really, really amazing. Um, I could even see myself displaying them both with the same head sculpt on the, on the shelf at the same time. They just look that amazing in their own right, but pretty, uh, pretty nice little shot here. I think they both are just simply outstanding figures. And one last final pose for you folks. Really, really amazing figure. I could not be happier with this guy. Uh, but that is it for my video review on the Hot Toys Spider-Man Homecoming Deluxe Spider-Man figure. Uh, I hope you liked what you saw. I really, really encourage you guys to pick this up if you're a fan of Spider-Man. If you collect Hot Toys, it's definitely a must-have. Um, I hope I was able to help you make up your mind, you know, maybe if you were on the fence or just needed that extra push to pick up the figure. I know the video was a little bit of a long one, but... I love Spider-Man and I love this figure and I really just wanted to show off as much as I could about it uh, as well as maybe put that little funny sketch there in the middle of it. I hope you found that kind of enjoyable too. But either way, thank you for watching and if you like what you saw here, check out my other Hot Toys video reviews and if you like what you see there, make sure you're subscribing to stay in the loop for all future Hot Toys reviews. But until next time, thanks so much for checking this video out and I really hope to see you all again.